Danny Elmore here. We are live at The Shed in Lower Manhattan. And I am here with none other than Mark Kelly of The Roots. How are you doing tonight, Mark? I'm doing good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, feeling good. I'm happy to be here. Great vibe. Definitely, definitely great turnout. How are you feeling about tonight's event? Well, tonight's event is great. You know, a lot of people came out. A lot of people came here to display their talent. And there were a lot of good acts that came on. It was really good, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Now, I know you and Anu go way back. You guys are kind of like the guys behind tonight's event. Tell me about what kind of inspired you to start an open mic like tonight. Well, the one thing that I feel is that, you know, New York is a place that uh, anybody who... Like, I feel like there are different points, different parts in this in this country where a lot of people gravitate to who have talent and who want to display that talent and who want to try to make it. But New York, I think, is like the number one place to go to because everything is pretty much everything here. You know, like you can do whatever, and it's you know you. I feel like New York, if you uh, if you in, if you invest yourself, you'll definitely get a return. You know, so for me. I came up doing a lot of open mics and going places. It was it was how I would let, I guess, the city know that that I was here, that I was doing something. And through that, you know, there were other people who would be there, doing the same thing I was, just trying to trying to work and trying to go somewhere. Also, just not like not even just working, just trying to go and play and just relieve themselves and get their ideas out of their minds. So I'm all about open mics. You know, like this this place is a. It's a new place that's happening right now, and I feel like it's the newer thing that's happening in New York for people to come and, and, and just play, just be, you know, and do what they do. So, you know, I'm, I'm all about that. Now, I cannot do this interview without talking about The Roots. We got to talk about what you guys are doing this year. Now, I heard there's actually going to be a tribute at Hot 97 Summer Jam for you guys. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about that? We have two things that we do. In June, we do the picnic, and in July, we do the 4th of July Festival. And uh, I never like to to say who's gonna be a part of. Oh, wait too much. All right. Yeah, yeah, all gotta right. wait until the names are dropped. Oh, fair enough. I can't, but but trust me, the picnic is gonna be incredible. Uh, the headliner for the for the picnic is gonna be somebody that we all know and love and have, have rocked to their music forever. Uh, and for Fourth of July, I definitely can't talk about that because that's that's definitely. Top secret. Black Thought is always, you know, he's an incredible lyricist and he's always going to do what he does. Quest Love is an incredible drummer and a, 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 an incredible visionary. So, you know, we're always, we always put something a little special together. Trust me, whatever we bring, you're going to love it and it's going to be a really good time. Really quick, let's talk about The Tonight Show. The introduction to our show on The Tonight Show was directed by Spike Lee. Spike Lee created that and, and did the, the entire introduction. And then when it fades into us, it fades from Spike Lee's creation into the roots, you know? So Jimmy's a hip dude, you know? He's done some really hip things. And is a, you know, I mean, we're making history. When have we, when, whenever have we had a hip hop band be the house show, the house band for an incredible show? Never. Jimmy has created history. Along with the roots, we've created history. You know, together we've done that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's an incredible it's an incredible experience to be a part of, and uh, you know, I can you know if I die tomorrow, I can rest assured that I was a part of something that was brand new and never happened ever. You know, amen to that. It's incredible. Okay, my last question for you is: as an artist and as a member of the band The Roots, how do you guys stay? relevant and um, you know so popular throughout so many years of being in the music industry our manager Richard Nichols who uh, he produces all of our records Richard Nichols is a uh, he I, I feel he, he raised this man like he he had a vision he saw everything he put it together and he kept nurturing it throughout the years and uh, he, uh, he's, he's done a, a great service not just to this band and everybody who's in it but to, to the listeners, to the world, you know, he's created something that has influenced a lot of people, you know, and it's, that's not a, that, that, that's not something that's easy to do, and not that he was necessarily trying to influence people, he was just doing what he does, you know, which is just making brilliant pieces of art, you know, his, uh, Questlove wrote a book, uh, and, and in the book, it, it goes, it toggles back and forth between Questlove's stories and then Richard Nichols' has his things that he has to say throughout the book. 
But the dopest quote that came from that book that I always stay with that Richard Nichols said was, he talked about what the first time he heard Roland Kirk and how, uh, how incredible it was to hear something, to be moved by it. And then after he listened, to, after he went to a show, he didn't want to buy the record because he, he felt like he wouldn't be able to appreciate it the same way that he did when he first heard it. So his quote was, what can I say? Feelings are harder to come by as, as, as you get older. You know what I mean? So for a person to make that brilliant of a quote, that's who, who has helped to keep this band, or who has been responsible for keeping this band hip and in the, in the mainstream. We're always doing something that, that, has, that, that is aside from whatever the mainstream is. The Roots is, is, is its, uh, its own project. We're, we're our own self-sustaining band. You know, We're not like anything else. We have our own crew, our own clique of original people. And we'll forever be that. That's why it's the roots, you know? We continue to grow, you know? When something else dies, there's still growth that keeps on uh, renewing. You know? I love that. I love that. All right. Well, let the people know where they can find you, where they can find the roots, where they can find Mark Kelly, anything else, and most definitely where they can find the shed and how they can come out and be a part of the open mic. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. I'm still getting used to that. Uh, you can always check out OK Player. We have a... Uh, a lot of things that are going on there, a lot of new hip things that are happening. Um, you can uh, you can always uh, check out Anu and, and me here at Tammany Hall, 152 Orchard Street, on the Lower East Side, New York City. And uh, I, I have to say, you know, this is a jam session that uh, nothing nothing else can beat it. Not at all. Let me tell you, after seeing it live, yeah, I, mean, I would like crazy. to, be, but you know, I mean, I, I, <laughs> crazy, yeah. crazy. It's incredible. It's incredible. I, I'm glad that this has been started. I'm glad that there's a this is a new place for people to you know come here and, and hang out and play and do what they do. Yeah. Well, thank you so so much for sitting down with me, taking a couple minutes of it TV. It was a pleasure speaking with you and coming out to tonight's event. You guys definitely, definitely need to check out the next open mic at the shed here at Tammany Hall. Danny Elmore, Mark Kelly signing off it TV. And put your